Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers. Today I'll show CFD parameter study and optimization of a flow through a pipe. You can see the model here. What we have done is uh, we have made some obstruction at a specific distance away of 200 millimeter. The pipe is having length of 1 meter and through the passage of his flow we have made some kind of obstruction obstruction is made by this semicircular portion of this one at alternate sections we have made obstructions while fluid should be flowing through this one it will be obstructed by this flat and this other side we have made some reference and while flowing of fluid we have made this path disabled that means there should not be any kind of obstruction for the right side while fluid will be flowing through this path it will be obstructed by this left hand side semicircular plate and it will pass through that other side these plates are actually provided to have a reference support from this reference we will get the value of velocity at different cross-sectional areas right you can see air will be flowing from this opening it will be obstructed from this first plate this is known as measure plate 1 or MP1. Again, it will be obstructed by the second plate here, third plate here, and this will be a fourth plate. While passing through this, we have to measure the velocity at different cross sectional areas also. That's why you have provided these reference plates. And for this simulation, we have disabled the other side of this semicircular part. This surface is produced to provide a reference for getting the velocity at different cross sectional areas. So that means at alternate surfaces. At a distance of 200 millimeter you have to find the velocities and see how much is the difference in the velocities after getting these velocities difference we have to go for optimization as per our requirement based on a specific input velocity you have to find out the velocity at a different surfaces okay let us initiate our flow solution environment with the wizard itself and we're keeping the name of the project as project one the unit system we're considering as si and pressure will be in bar and we are considering temperature to be degree celsius next to that from the physical features it will be definitely an internal analysis it is not a heat conduction in solids we don't require anything to be taken from this one let us go for the next step gases it will be air default wall thermal conditions and roughness we are considering thermodynamic parameter the pressure will be 1.01325 bar and temperature will be 20 degrees centigrade let us finish this you can see this is the computational domain let us hide this domain and we can apply our boundary conditions for starting this simulation the other side of this semicircular part we have to make disabled and that can be made from the component control options we have named already as mp1 mp2 etc these plates we have disabled for this simulation these plates will be working as a reference for getting the pressure at these specific locations green check you can have a segmented view of the model we can cut it from top plane boundary conditions insert boundary condition we have to provide air at a specific velocity from the inlet let us provide the velocity of air at the inlet should be 60 meter per second selected green check that means from the inlet air will be flowing at a velocity of 60 meter per second next to that we have to provide another boundary conditions that means atmospheric pressure at the exit location boundary conditions insert boundary condition it will be atmospheric pressure at the exit location so you can select it from here selected green check next to that we have to select some goals right so goals will be want to have velocity at different cross sectional areas at alternate 200 millimeter away so we can select these things from goals insert surface goals it will be average velocity at different cross sectional areas and those cross sectional areas, areas we can select from the solid geometry itself it is measured plate number 1 mp2 mp3 and mp4 by the same time we can select another thing that means velocity at the 
exit pipe also exit location also you can check by the same time you can select velocity at the exit location also that is this location we have selected five different goals that means we have to have average velocity of fluid at different locations when you select all the goals as a separate we want to create all the goals as separate green check all the goals have been defined now we can run this simulation let us run this with new calculations we can see the solver window has already started it is preferring for calculations you can see it from here this is the solver window let us see the goals by the same time you can see our actual view from top plane it will be better to see velocity distribution from the top plane you can see the solver is finished and we got all our results converged from the goal plot we can see that velocity at the exit location is 62.3 meter per second whereas the inlet velocity was 60 meter per second and also we can see velocity at the different measured plate locations at this number one two three four etc it is reducing too much at the measured plate one velocity is 9.25 meter per second at the second one it is 6.89 third one it is 7.14 and the fourth one it is 7.07 .07. you can see that there is a decrease in velocity at the different locations only some kind of unexpected result you can see at the second surface as it is decreasing from 9 then it is 6.8 then again there is little increment and finally again at the last plate it is 7.07 .07 meter per second right next to that we'll see the dynamics of flow particles because here we can see some kind of zigzag flow of fluid next to that we'll close it and see the dynamics of flow particles by the same time we want to see our results from cut plots so results cut plots insert cut plots we want to see velocity of air from top plate green check we can see at the beginning velocity is very high and as it is approaching towards the end it is decreasing because of the various at the different cross sectional areas and finally at the exit location also its velocity is very high it is in the range of 86 meter per second okay finally we want to see the flow particles for being these things let us cut this along top plane in which you can select the specific location in a better way flow trajectories insert flow trajectories instead of pipes you want to see these flow trajectories in the form of arrows and let us make the numbers of particles to be 20 and size of the particles to be 0 0.205 meter grid check now it is clearly visible right so let us see these things in the form of animation flow trajectories let us play so better to see from top plane then you can see the zigzag nature of fluid you can see here some kind of vortex motion is created at the first barrier level and also at the last barrier level some circulation of fluid particles are visible let us see these things in the form of an animation Now this vortex motion can be neglected if we reduce the velocity at the inlet location. We will see that one again. We want to reduce the vortex motion. For that we want to go for another simulation with a different velocity. Let us decrease the velocity. We have already seen the velocities at different locations from the solver window. So no need of seeing these things from goal ports. We will go for another simulation with different velocity. Let us change the inlet velocity to be 30 meter per second. So edit definition instead of 60 meter per second let us change it to 10 meter per second let's see what happens let us run this 
the solver is finished and we got all our edges converged with a new inlet velocity of 10 meter per second we got our results at the exit level the velocity is 10.01 meter per second and all other locations at a different barriers we got the velocity is reducing right let's see whether the vortex motion can be reduced or not that can be checked from the dynamics of flow particles let us remove these things and we want to see the dynamics of flow particles directly we are not bothering about our different cut plots directly we want to see our flow trajectories you can see here little vortex motion is there at the first barrier but at the last case it is little bit reduced okay let us see this in the form of animation you can see here vortex motion is there at the first barrier but at the last case it is little bit reduced compared to the previous case so this vortex motion can be reduced by changing the geometry of these barriers right we may decrease the sizes of these barriers then this vortex motion cannot be avoided okay this vortex motion is created at the bottom side only here you can see this is the isometric view so vortex motion is created at the bottom side only next to that we will go for some kind of optimization we can see that when the velocity at the inlet location is 10 meter per second at the exit location the velocity is very very less it is in the range of 1 meter per second it is reduced by 10 times so we will see this results again from the goal ports initially we will clear and hide these things and see the results from goal ports we can view the results in the form of graphs from history here first one is the velocity at the measurement plate number one after 160 numbers of iterations its value is 1.49 meter per second that is reduced by almost seven times and the second case velocity is again 1.11 meter per second and at the third barrier velocity is again you can see it is 1.145 meter per second and at the last barrier the velocity is the lowest it is 1.11 meter per second so it is reduced by almost nine times and finally this is the velocity at the exit location it is little bit higher compared to the inlet velocity it is approximately 10.1 right okay next to that when to go for some kind of optimization we can see uh, optimize lot of data our aim is to optimize any one of the data we will optimize the velocity at the last barrier it is 1.1 meter per second we want to have this one to be more right next to that we want to go for some kind of optimization instead of going for some kind of parameter study directly we will go for optimization uh, our aim is to increase the velocity at the last barrier from 1.1 to 5 meter per second right we we'll select goal optimization and for goal optimization we have to depend on input variables let us select the input variables from the boundary conditions we will select the inlet velocity as the input variable so that will be obtained from the boundary conditions inlet velocity it was 10 meter per second that one we want to change it we are specifying the range from 35 to 45 meter per second I'm going to check and we have to depend on goals goals will be coming from output parameters let us select the goals from here we have to select that criteria and target value should be 5 meter per second so for getting the target value again we have to select the goals we have to achieve the target velocity to be 5 meter per second and with a variation of plus minus 0 0.1 with a variation of plus minus 0 0.1 meter per second then check let us see the scenario and let us run it
initially it will start iterations with the maximum value of 45 meter per second in the next case it will try with the minimum one in this way it will try to minimize the gap in between and optimize the result and we got our solution compressed when the electricity is 42.4 meter per second so our result is when the inlet velocity is 42.4 meter per second the velocity at the very number 4 is 5.01 meter per second okay this is our today's video in this video we performed this simulation with the different inlet velocities of 10 meter per second and 50 meter per second and we achieved the velocity at different surfaces after after we did some kind of optimization results instead of parametric rest study we directly went for some kind of goal optimization and from the optimum results at a specific velocity of 42 meter per second at the inlet we got the velocity at the barrier number 4 is 5 meter per second okay thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye